This is a video for the introductions to HPE SimpliVity OmniStack REST API. HPE SimpliVity provides a set of REST API that can be consumed by the developers or integrators. They can gather information, configure, analyze, and troubleshoot HPE OmniStack services. These REST API calls can be embedded into any available scripting or programming language. Now let's look at a starter guide, which is located at mpi.simplivity.com. You'll find comprehensive knowledge such as the overview of the features. You'll find a description of all the composable objects through the REST API. And more importantly, you can also see the model of the objects and relations of the object. Now in their website, you can also find detailed information to perform the authentications. The OmniStack REST API uses O2 authentication, returns the authentication token to manipulate any available objects. Now it also walks through the steps to perform REST API calls in details and shows the response. Response comes in the form of JSON. Lastly, which is very useful, the website also provides links to the samples of codes in form of Java, PowerShell, Python. Note the samples of code go through the required workflow such as authentication, submission of the REST call, checking the completion of the REST call, and so on. For my demo today, I will use REST API to clone the Win2 K12 template using the REST API. So I connect to the HPE OmniStack virtual controller by the management IP address, click on the interactive REST API reference website. Now I log in using my administrator credentials to obtain the token. Once the login is completed, I will perform the SimpliVity VM get operations to display the list of the VM. Now drill down into the uh, VM list of the operation, performing a get virtual machines operations. You can see all the parameters that are available, but we're not using it for now. Click Try Out. And inside the response body, we can see the list of the virtual machines returned. There are three of them, but we want to figure it out which one is the WinK12 template. We found it, and then we will be copying the virtual machine ID, which is required for performing the virtual machines clone. Now go back up to the VM operation and then list all the operations to find the post virtual machine to perform the clone operations. Enter the virtual machine ID. Don't forget to provide the name of the clone machine and then click the tryout button to perform the clone operation. Now we can see in a status or response body the clone task is currently in progress. Copy the uh, task ID and use the task operations to figure out if the task which is cloning has been completed. Enter the task ID into the task ID parameters click try out and now we see that the clone operation task has been completed now we go back into the vCenters confirm that the clone has been completed now this concludes the demo of the REST API